Hey everybody, what's up? It's Angela here for this week's video. This week, since this is the very last video that I will be uploading in 2015, I decided to make it a Highlights of 2015 video. I am going to go through my year and tell you what I think were my highlights from it. So let's get started. The first highlight of the year is definitely when my niece Addison was born on January 10th. It really seems like just yesterday that she was born, and now, next month, she is going to be a year old. It has flown by so quickly, and honestly, she is one of the most important people to me, and I think that she always will be, and I cannot wait to watch her grow up, and... Yeah, Addison is definitely a huge highlight of this year for me. Now, fast forward all the way to the end of August for the One Direction concert where I had floor seats and I wasn't really close to the stage, but I was close enough that I didn't have to look at the screens the whole time. And honestly, it was an amazing experience. I am never going to forget that night for as long as I live. Now we move on to September, to the 16th, which was my 21st birthday. And if you didn't see my story time on this, on the night of my birthday, I went to a karaoke bar to celebrate me finally being able to legally drink alcohol. I had a lot to drink, but didn't get hungover, score. And I also got to sing some karaoke songs, so it was such a fun night. I went with my mom, my cousin, and her boyfriend, so it was a lot of fun. I'm hoping to go karaoke at that place for New Year's Eve, too, so I'll maybe let you know how that works out. Another highlight that was in September was around the end of the month. I couldn't give you an exact date, but... At the end of September, I made a new friend. Her name is Carol, and I met her online on a fan fiction website. Please do not judge me. <laughs> and we started messaging on the site, and we found out that we have a lot in common and that we both write fan fiction. So, I don't know, we just got to talking and we started to get close. So then we ended up Skyping each other one night. And ever since then, her and I have gotten so close. And now, three months later, probably, approximately, she is one of my best friends. So, yeah. Meeting Carol online at the end of September was a huge highlight of this year for me. Then, beginning of October, October 4th to be exact, one of my favorite bands, right up there with One Direction and Five Seconds of Summer, Mayberry, talked to me on my phone. Okay, that... I can't even describe to you how amazing that was for me. I mean, they're one of my favorite bands, I actually got to hear their voices coming through my cell phone and talking directly to me. Like, that is a huge deal for me. Gigantic. Of course, I am counting this as a highlight for my year. October 23rd, Five Sauce's new album, Sounds Good, Feels Good, was released. And it's the first time I ever bought an album of an artist on the day it came out. So, pretty cool moment for me. And then also on the album side of things, I got One Direction's new album, Made in the AM, also on the day it came out. So, this year was a pretty great year for music. Gotta say. I mean, yeah, music really took a hit when Zayn left One Direction at the end of March. But, I mean, I explained in a whole video about my opinions. But all I'm going to say right now is, it ended up being a good thing for One Direction that Zayn left, and I'm looking forward to what he does on his own. And the last thing that is a highlight for this year happened this month, and it was around the 21st, pretty sure, so a little more than a week ago. 
I became a fan of another band. <laughs> and I told myself that I wasn't going to do it. I told myself I would stop with Mayberry. I said that would be it. No more bands. One Direction, Five Sauce, and Mayberry are good enough. Well, I found a band from Ireland. They are another boy band. Go figure. And they're called Hometown. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're I don't think they're really famous in the United States yet, or really anywhere outside of the UK, but oh my gosh, I love them. Liam actually co-wrote their newest song called The Night We Met. I'll put the music video for that song in the description. How I became a fan was Liam tweeted the music video for that song that he said he wrote with Jamie Scott for Hometown, and... I thought I would just check it out. I'm like, all right, well, if Liam co-wrote the song, it has to be good. And it was. I mean, I love that song so much. And um, I just, I don't know. After that, I decided to check out Hometown's other songs, and then I really liked those. And I was just like, okay, I like this band. I'm going to stick to this band. I'm going to grab a hold of this band now, while they're not yet famous in America, I'm going to do it. And then, if they're really famous in America one day, and then eventually all over the world, I'm going to be like, yes, yes, I grabbed onto them when they weren't famous here yet. I don't know, I just like being able to say things like that, I guess. But yeah, as far as highlights, that's pretty much it. What I will end with is... I secured a subbing job in my old elementary school's library officially this month. So um, it's only for a few months, but it's still great experience, and I'll be getting paid. So I'm going to have a job in 2016, however briefly. So also for 2016, I have a lot more content that I'm going to be putting out here. I'm still only going to be posting once a week, and I may or may not be changing the day of the week that I post. I may post on a weekend day instead. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, I'm maybe going to change the day of the week that I post, or I may not. I may leave it on Tuesdays. I'll just see what happens. Things are kind of up in the air at the moment. But yeah, content for 2016. I'm going to do more challenges. I'm going to do a few tags, probably. I'm still going to do topic videos, so if there's anything that you want me to discuss in just a general, like, rant, I guess, video, feel free to comment it down below, because I will be looking at those for future video suggestions for the coming year. Overall, 2015 was a pretty good year, and I'm hoping that 2016 is going to be an even better one, and I hope it is for all of you watching as well. Alright, that's it for this week's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up for me. It really means a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe, because still in 2016, I'll be posting videos every single, most likely, Tuesday. That's it. So until next year, <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>